Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the Book VAT workbook and I will deal with um, this, um, some calculations. And specifically, I'll work with relative and absolute references in functions. It's a very important concept. First, I'm going to show you this sales tax VAT cell here. As I'm, first, I'm going to format that as a number because in Sweden we have a sales tax of 25%. And um, I'm uh, going to show you two ways of doing references to that. I want to calculate the VAT for these books. So I'm going to first start here and start with the equal sign. And of course, I'm going to multiply the price excluding VAT, multiply that by the 25% here, the B1 cell. That works just fine for that cell. However, if I pull that down, which I usually want to do, right, you'll notice that I get really strange numbers after a while here. And that is because the formula is using a relative reference. It's referencing that cell, which is correct, that cell, which is correct, and then that cell, which is not correct. So there are two ways of solving this problem. The one is to, instead of referencing the BA1 like that, is to enter dollar signs around it like this, dollar B dollar one. That's is called an absolute reference. So if I do that and fill it down like this, then it will give me the correct numbers every, every time. And as you see, it's always calculating with the B1 cell now. A simpler way of doing the same thing is giving this B1 cell a name and just calling that uh, VAT for value added tax. So now I can actually reference that within my cell. Instead of multiplying by B1, I can multiply by VAT like that. And that is, of course, a much easier way of doing it than dealing with the dollar signs. And it's also a much more readable formula, in my opinion. Now, the price including VAT is purely relative reference. So here I simply add those two numbers together, the BC4 plus the B4. And there I can fill the numbers all the way down because I'm always adding the number next to it with the number two steps to the left. So it's the relative reference does work there. I don't have to deal with absolute references there. Now uh, we've fixed the number format and uh, we're going to do that here with these amounts too. There we go. And then I'm going to make it look nice with colors and borders. You can do that in two ways. You can press that and add a border underneath there or I can do it very nicely by formatting the whole table as a table. Then I get these tables and borders for free. And my table does have headers like that. As you see, that does make it much more readable. Now, the final thing I'm going to do is lock this cell up here and or so, rather unlock that cell because I want that to be editable, but nothing else. Oh, actually, these things should be editable too. So this cell and these cells, I'm going to select that. And I did that by holding down the control key on my keyboard. So I select all the cells that should be editable and then I right click and format cells and in there I can go into the protection and say that these should not be locked. By default, all cells are locked. So if I just unlock the ones I want and then lock the entire sheet or protect the entire sheet. Now you see I can change the book price for this, make it $21 instead. And that works just fine, but I can't change the VAT. I can't change the name of the book or anything like that. The only things I can change are the cells that I unlocked. So I can change the VAT to 6% and I can see what the prices change to. All right, so that concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.